All right, so let's under question six. Uh, question six is uh, involving uh, exponentials. You just want us to understand how you basically get to go about the exponentials. How do you under them when it comes to differentiating them? So the very first one is e to the power two minus two x. Now, with what I've already explained, are you able to simplify that? So I've already said you basically differentiate it by multiplying by the derivative of the power. So in this case, our power is 2 minus 2x. What's the derivative of this? The derivative is going to be a minus 2. Okay? You understand the constant is a 0. This is going to give us a negative 2. So I have negative 2. Then you attach to the original exponential. That's how you go about it. Alright, simple and straightforward. Now for the next one, pause the video and try it out. So there we have e to the power 2 sine of x plus cosine 3x. How do you go about it? Simple and straightforward. What's the derivative of the power? We have 2 sine x plus cosine 3x. So you know that the derivative of sine is just basically cosine, right? You know that. So you have 2. So because of the derivative of sine of x, it's going to be cosine of x, right? And then the other part, of course you understand that after you differentiate multiply by the derivative of what is in the brackets, in this case x is just a 1, so no change. Then the other part, when you talk about cosine 3 of x, what's the derivative of cosine? It's negative sine. We maintain the 3x. Now multiply by the, the derivative of the 3x, which is going to be a 3. So that would be multiplied by a 3. So what comes out is we're going to have 2 cosine of x minus 3 sine 3x. And then, of course, attach our exponential as it was e to the power 2 sine of x plus cosine 3x. Okay. So basically, that's what you get as a result. So the key idea is when you're differentiating an exponential function, just basically go on and multiply by the derivative of the power. The power itself doesn't change. So there we are now, we are now trying to apply the, the caution true to exponentials. So we have e to the power x minus e to the power negative x divided by e to the power x plus e to the power negative x caution true so let our u be equal to what's on top that's e to the power x minus e to the power negative x so we understand that our u prime differentiating the first one will mean you multiply by the derivative of the power derivative of x is a one so it remains as it is the derivative of this one is going to be a negative one multiplied by this negative it will become a positive e to the power negative x and then for v, v is going to be a denominator, which is e to the power x plus e to the power negative x. Our v prime, the first part remains as it is. Second one, derivative of negative x is negative 1. So it will become negative e to the power negative x. Now we understand that the formula for the quotient true, if you are going to say it's u over v, it implies it's going to be v u prime minus u v prime over v squared. So our v is this part. So we have e to the power x plus e to the power negative x multiplied by u prime which is that e to the power x plus e to the power negative x minus u our u is e to the power x minus e to the power negative x multiplied by our v prime which is e to the power x minus e to the power negative x over v squared which is just e to the power x plus e to the power negative x now if you are paying particular attention you can see what we've actually come up with at this point so you notice that what we're multiplying is basically identical and so we can decide to square that, right? So we have e to the power x plus e to the power negative x. Let's 
squared and then minus e to the power x minus e to the power negative x squared of course don't forget the denominator is also squared and then we what we have in the denominator is we have e to the power x plus e to the power negative x squared what if we tried multiplying what do we expect to have anyway i don't want to try that i don't want to complicate things but i think at this point since i can see that i can basically d decide to divide if i want to this part and that part are matching up they'll give me a one and then minus the other part e to the power x minus e to the power negative x squared and then over e to the power x plus e to the power negative x squared i think we can end there as our result no arm right so just basic exponential f uh, way of simplifying applying the quotient truth nothing more nothing less and then for the other one we have f of x being equal to e to the power 2x plus e to the power x natural log of x. Feel free to pause the video and try this one out. So all the same, how do you go about it? Consider the first part, the derivative of 2x is 2, so we have 2 e to the power 2x. Now we have the other part, e to the power x natural log of x. What's the derivative of x natural log of x? This is a product true. Product rule start with the first one, x multiplied by the derivative of natural log of x. Now, natural log of x, what's the derivative of natural log of x? So, whenever you're differentiating natural log, it's the derivative of what you have, you have attached, which is x in this case. The derivative is 1 divided by x itself. So, the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. And then plus natural log of x multiplied by the derivative of x, which is just a 1. So, you end up having... 1 plus natural log of x so 1 plus natural log of x in brackets is attached to exponential e x natural log of x okay can you go beyond this point i don't think so this is what we have as a derivative of that part okay all right so we'll proceed with uh question six um, now at this point we are on question that should be number five so here we are given that f of x which is our y is equal to six to the power five x so this is an exponential but with a different base just a number so one thing that you need to notice in a case where you have e to the power two x remember we said the derivative here is we said the derivative here is what differentiate the power that would be 2 so it would be e to the power 2x now one thing that i wasn't mentioning is that in the actual sense you also multiply by the natural log of a base so now natural log and e basically gives us a 1 that's why we don't show it so for this case where we have 6 to the power 5x equally when you talk about our y prime it's going to be the derivative of 5x is a 5 multiplied by 6 raised to the power 5x also natural log the base in this case is a six that's why it's necessary that we basically get to show it so therefore that is our answer so five natural log of six and then or well, i can prefer to even the way we've put it it's all right so five six and then natural log of six of course six to the power five x all right or I can say 5 natural log of 6 and then and then of course I put this in brackets and then you can say 6 to the power 5x okay so this is basically what we're talking about when it comes to exponentials applying the same concepts to answer the next question for pause the video 2 to the power x squared multiplied by 5 x minus 2 how do you go about it so we're going to apply what we call product true right so let's let our u be equal to the first one which is to the power x to the power 2 so therefore our u prime is going to be also derivative of x squared it's 2x and then to the power x squared now i suppose to introduce a natural log of a base so a natural log of 2 
and then for the other one let's call it v prime 5 raised to the power x minus 2 so that's just v now v prime which is the derivative is going to be the derivative of x minus 2 is a 1 multiplied by whatever we have and then natural log of a base which is natural log of 5 so it should just be natural log of 5 or basically I can decide to start with a 5 so 5 x minus 2 and then natural log of 5 so we know that for the product rule multiply the original by the, de the other derivative okay and then again the other one you also do the same so it doesn't matter what you start with so if I'm going to start with 2 to the power x squared I'm supposed to multiply by the derivative of the other part which is this so that would be 5 x minus 2 the natural log of 5 okay and then plus the other one now we're going to start with 5 versus the power x minus 2 multiply by the derivative of the other part which is that so 2x multiplied by 2x squared and then natural log of 2 natural log of 2 natural so what is x squared so we just apply the basic uh, product 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 true and so at this point what we have in terms of simplicity we can say we have 2x squared the first part being common so it's there it's also there what else is common uh, 5x to the power 2 5x minus 2 is also common and then what remains for the first brackets if we remove the 2 remain with natural log of 5 the other bracket remain with the 2x and the natural log of 2 so this is a simplified form of equation since we only have single brackets I can basically just use the curved brackets so that's our answer to this question we've just applied the basic product rule to whatever we know already now we can look at the caution true so here we have e raised to the power natural log of x over root of x so here we apply the question true so here we say let our u be equal to the top part which is e to the power natural log of x so here you know what the derivative of such a function is going to be what's the derivative of root of x so root of x you know it is the same as x to the power half so that is going to be half x reduce the power by negative one it becomes negative half and so you know that if you want to make the power to be positive the x goes on the bottom you know half can become the square root so we have one over two root of x So that is attached to the original. So that's your derivative. And then for the bottom, if we're going to call it v, it's going to be v is equal to root of x. Now we've already seen how to differentiate that. You've seen that it's giving us what? 1 over 2 root of x. So the question truth tells us that if you're going to have u over v, then the, if this is your y, then your y prime is going to be v u prime minus u v prime over v squared so you start with v squared which is the denominator so if we're going to start substituting if we're 
we're going to start substituting our v is the denominator which of course we know let's take note of the question the question is e raised the power root of x over root of x so we have root of x as our v and then our u prime is that so that is one two root of x e to the power root of x and then minus so that's now minus u so our u is this part e to the power root of x and then our v prime is this part 1 over 2 root of x so we've, simp we've, distribu we've substituted remaining one part v squared v squared is root of x squared anything we can divide this and that can divide so we have e to the power root of x on top over a2 and then minus the other part remains as it is e root of x over 2 root of x now don't forget that we're dividing by this part so that the square root and the square are going to cancel out so essentially you remain with just x so we are dividing by 1 over x or multiplying by 1 over x which is as good as dividing okay so if we do multiply by that x which is outside the answer essentially becomes e root of x over 2x minus e root of x over 2x natural log of x so can end there as a derivative if you want you can factorize leave this one as it is outside and then also pull out the e natural log of x if you want or e the square root the root of x sorry now for the last one on cosine 6 here we have cosine of e to the power 3x so this being our y so to differentiate this you can take this to be in the brackets so let your u be equal to what is in the bracket brackets so that we apply the chain rule so du dx that's differentiating our u in respect to x when you're differentiating an exponential function determining the derivative of a power which is a 3 and then maintain the other part now for the cosine part our y is equal to cosine of u since we've said let u be equal to that so our dy in respect to u is going to be what's the derivative of cosine that's negative sine of u so therefore our y prime is going to be the product of dy du and then du dx so the du's will cancel so dy du is negative sine of u now sine of u is e to the power 3x multiplied by du dx which is 3 e to the power 3x the next step this can become the coefficient so that you have negative 3 e to the power 3x sine of e to the power 3x that's our answer to the last question these are very simple and straightforward applying the basic rules we know about exponentials quotient rules product rules chain rule